Dear Wanderer, welcome. This time I will take you on a slightly different journey. As we are now entering April, just after the spring equinox, the long dark nights are turning into brighter and longer days. A new season starts again. The buds are swelling and the first leaves started to shoot out. The birds building their nests. Nature awakes again, magical as always. As the sun caresses your skin with warmer touches as temperature rises, few stronger storms from the Atlantic will hit the island, and yet I am not fully prepared. Strong winds will give hard time for the new developed and delicate leaves, the last thing I need for the newly repotted trees. So now it's time to build them a new shelter. The old greenhouse had its own hard times, so now it's time to rake it down and get a much more stronger one instead. I will keep the foundation what I made for the previous greenhouse. It sits on a concrete base, so I'm not worried about stability. First, I will set the main beams. Now as they are in place, let's put the main cross beam. Sorry if I'm not using proper terminology, I'm not a carpenter. As now the main beams are set, and I decided the angle will start to cut the wood for the sides of the greenhouse. When it comes to the material what to use as a cover for the greenhouse, I have decided to go with polycarbonate sheets. They are relatively cheap, durable and light compared to glass, as it's heavier, more expensive and it can break.
even though the old foundation sits on concrete base, I wanted to add some extra support. So we dig some holes for the support structure and make sure everything is at a level. For proper ventilation, I will make a fully functional window as well. Free drilling the holes help that the wood will not split when the screws will be added. Also I build the windows on the side and the roof with the same technique. Layer of timber, polycarbonate sheet and top layer of timber. Finally, it's time for the paint. So I'm using wood stain for protection of the wood. I mix one ebony and one walnut stain together. This way I do not need to do any measurements as it is one to one proportion. And it will give us a nice dark colored wood. Obviously it's really up to you what color you want to use. On the roof of the door and some parts I just use walnut stain just to add some contrast to the structure.
giving some extra shade with garden fleece covering to the roof, as the greenhouse will function more as a tree shelter from strong winds and storms, rather than reaching for as much sunlight as possible. Also as it will give a new home for repotted and air layer trees, and mostly Japanese maple, I want to avoid sunburn as much as I can. For the design of the main door, I decided to use an old Japanese metal called Shoisugi Ban or Yakisugi. Shoisugi Ban is a traditional Japanese method of wood preservation that involves cherrying the surface of the wood to increase its durability and resistance to insects, rot, and fire. The process typically involves using a propane torch to char the surface of the wood, followed by brushing off the charred layer and sealing the wood with oil or another finish. As we are working with fire here, please wear safety gear and also I always have a water can or hose nearby just in case. If you have a fire extinguisher, would be even better. Safety first. When you brush off the charred surface, the dust particles are very small, so please wear a mask and safety glass to protect your eyes and lungs. I like to do this method two times, as you will see more detailed surface as we burn into the inner parts of the wood. After it's all brushed, I just wash off the door, let it dry and apply some oil. I used ordinary olive oil, but you can use any wood oil.
Now let's add a tiny windows to the door. Pre-made paint canvas has always worked for me pretty well. I will add some lights as well. If you are not comfortable to do it, please reach out to a professional electrician. Now it's time to move the trees to their new home. Now let me show you the new greenhouse.
Thank you so much for watching and well, see you all next time.